Hello Taurus, this is your November 2018 reading, at least starting November 2018. It will not resonate with all Taurus individuals, so please keep that in mind. Um, I hope, uh, trying to, let's see what this is. Something about happiness, Nine of Cups. Let's hope that, you know, that's supposed to be in the spread, it'll show up again. But the energies I'm trying to get, they may start off from the last reading before and continue on, or I may get a totally, entirely new energy. But this is for Taurus. November 2018 Taurus General Full Celtic Cross reading. Taurus. November 2018 reading. Taurus. Starting November 2018 Full Celtic Cross. I'm hoping for a positive reading, but if we do get a negative card reading, we'll work it out. Let's we'll see what we can do about it. But this is, like I said, is for Taurus. We did see the happiness card. We'll see if it pops out again. I want to see what the beginning energy is entering in, coming towards Taurus. Lust in reverse. This is desires uh, not happening. You're not... Uh, you're not really wanting anything. It's not that you're not, how can I say it? It's not that you're not wanting anything. It's just like um, uh, someone put a cold blanket on you. It just Things just fizzled out for you. It's like your motivation is gone. You're just feeling kind of blah. That's the income and energy. Subject at hand is the Five of Pentacles. Someone is feeling worried and left out. What's crossing it is the Princess of Swords. This could be an air energy or someone taking on this energy. It could be Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Your goal is the World card. In the upright, you're wanting to uh, put away old things and start something totally new. Open up the world for yourself. Look for new things. This is a good card and it's a good uh, goal to have. And sometimes the goal is the outcome. But we shall see for sure. Foundation, you're not feeling 100% happy. It's a lot like with the lust card. It's the desires and wants and happiness. And where the lust card is, is that is what you're desiring. Uh, the sun card is what you're actually feeling at the time. You're just not feeling 100%. In the past, there was a lover's type situation. This could be an actual lover or a partnership or someone close to you in general. It's in the upright. And they are in the past, though. In the near future, you're feeling a little trapped, like you can't get um, can't get away. But with the Eight of Swords, keep it in mind. There's always a way out. You just can't see it, but it's there. That's the main uh, story with that card, or what it means. The with the main meaning. At least I was always taught that, or thought that. Now, right here, I'm going to clarify these because this is the subject at hand and the near future. And over here is more of what is coming towards you and uh, the final, final outcome. But what we got here, starting out, you're worried. You're feeling left out. Some of you, some of you are just worried. Some of you feel like you've got no you know, recourse in anything. And it has to do with the prince, Princess of Swords. Let me get another card for that. The Worry card with the Princess of Swords. Why are you there for Taurus? Why is Taurus worried with this energy? Trying to come out. Let's see what that is. Feeling stuck and bound to a certain situation. Got a lot of cards that are unmovable. It seems like you're just feeling stuck. Can I get another card for the worry card in the hangman and the princess of swords? Feeling stuck, waiting, stagnant energies. Also has to do with the queen of cups. Could have to do with more than one person. The queen of cups is in the upright. Uh, can be a water sign or someone taking on an energy. Cancer, uh, Pisces, Scorpio. She's in the upright, so her emotions are all right. They're, they're doing well. This could be you also taking on this energy, even though it's not your sign. We all have water in our chart. But you're just feeling stagnant. At the same time, you're trying to keep your emotions in check. Now, the goal, like I said, is the universe. The universe, why are you there for Taurus? You're hoping... 
but you're feeling like hope was lost at the same time. Even though you're trying, you're. You're trying to gain the world. You're trying to change your situation. You're trying to come into completion with the things you want. But at the same time, in the back of your head, you always thought it was hopeless. But you're going for that goal, and you should. Please do not give up hope. Universe. The star card in reverse. Why are you there as the goal for Taurus? November. For November 2018. Communications are off. You don't feel like it's happening as quickly as you want. But that is your dream to have something new come in your life and, and be and have completion in your life. Now the foundation, you have the sun card. It is in reverse. It's not the worst card to be in reverse. It's just that you're not feeling one hundred percent happy. And you're we're putting on a good face, you know, you're smiling around people, but inwardly you're not feeling one hundred percent joyful right now what you what's going on in your life so the sun card why are you there for taurus because you're unable to take up for yourself to get on top of things can i get another card that's a seven of wands by the way in reverse can i get another card for taurus for the sun card and the seven of wands in reverse Feel like you can't get on top of things and every time you do try it ends up being a battle with somebody now in the past because by the way that's the strife card the five of uh, wands you got a lot of fire energy right there as a foundation you could be dealing with a fire sign some of you but the lovers card is in the past that's and it's in the upright let's find out why the lovers why are you there in the past for taurus Coming out of worried with the lover car with the lovers in the past. Hmm. Or you could be feeling even more stuck. Princess Prince of Swords, air energy. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, or someone taking on that energy. Maybe something came out. Maybe you're trying to break free of a certain situation. Has to do with the lover. That's the seven of swords right there. It's in reverse. It's either uh, finding out something that was underhanded or breaking free. So I see you possibly trying to break free. Maybe in the past so you can have this love situation, but some of you are stuck. Got this hangman waiting around. Now in the near future, I mean the very near future, you got the Eight of Swords. It's in the upright. It's feeling trapped, feeling like you can't get out, but it is an illusion in a way because... The universe allows you an opening. That's what's attached to this type of card. The Eight of Swords. Why are you there for Taurus? What's going on in the near future? Why is Taurus feeling so trapped? You can also leave that in the comments. Why do you feel so trapped? Eight of Swords. Why are you there? Feel like you don't have a victory. That's the Six of Wands in reverse. You feel like you don't have a victory and your traps not tell me a lot could have to do with an ending feeling stuck still the death card could be feeling you know stagnant and stuck and you feel like you can't revive your life and it could be the universe telling you you need to end something that is making you feel kind of stuck but that's not the advice card that's right here the advice card what can you give them or is a possible future outcome also is the hangman now you could be still be stagnant in the long run or it could be the universe more or less saying you know you're waiting around you're hanging around for what we'll find out can I get another card for the hangman because I don't know what it's about it just tells me um, a stagnant type situation waiting around again it could have to do with water you got air and water and some and some fire so far Feeling, oh, it's trying to pop out. Feeling stuck, like it's not going forward with this Prince of Cups. This could be the water energy. Like I said, it could be uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Or like I said, someone just taking on that energy. And it could be, like I said, the outcome. Still feeling stuck and not moving forward, and at least until 
around the middle of November. Or it could be the universe trying to tell you not to be stuck, not, not to think on this Princess of Cups, you know, and because and it, it's not moving forward. We'll find out more when I get to the final, final outcome. Now what's coming towards you? Chariot again. Someone does want to move forward. Maybe it's you here that's not wanting to move forward, but someone on the outside may be wanting to move forward. The chariot. Why are you there? Could also have to do with some traveling. It's sort of like the Eight of Wands over here. It's, it's a movement. But even though you're feeling stuck and stagnant, something's coming for you that's causing movement. The chariot. Why are you there for Taurus? What is going on? Success. In reverse. Six of Pentacles. Things are moving towards you. Hold on. I'm thinking things are moving towards you because there was a lack of success somewhere else. Maybe something else failed on the outside that is allowed to have something move forward towards you. Sometimes when things fail around us, another door opens up. And that's what I'm feeling with a lot of you. Another door is opening up that sometimes things could be a blessing in disguise. Because this is the main card we're, we're reading for, and this is the why. Things are moving forward towards you very quickly because there was a lack of success somewhere. And at the same time, there is abundance. So someone else's failure or a situation, something else that failed may be a benefit to you. The Three of Cups. That's a celebration. So, for some of you, something quickly is moving forward. Could also be, for some of you, someone may try to sell you something or try to get you to do something by whining and dining with you, but it may be a failure. Okay? That's for some of you. But, like I said, for others... Someone else's failure or lack of success will be a benefit to you. So it'll be different for everybody. I'm reading for the masses. Now your hopes and fears, Taurus. The devil. In reverse, feeling like you can't get unchained, unstuck, possibly. Because it's a fear. The devil card, in reverse, why are you there for Taurus as a hopes and fears? Queen of Wands. This could be a fire type element or someone taking on that energy. Could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They are an upright. Maybe you feel bound to this person with this type of energy. Doesn't have to be a fire sign. Like I said, it could be just someone taking on that energy. Can I get another card for the Devil card and the Queen of Wands in the upright? Again, Princess of Wands. Do you fear that you can't become unchained from this person? Or you fear that they won't be chained to you anymore? Because a devil card in reverse can mean two different things. It can mean that you're stuck and staying chained to a certain situation and oppressed. Or it could be you trying to break free from a chained certain situation. But these are hopes and fears. So I'm thinking you're trying to break free like a lot of people. And maybe because you're wanting, maybe this is you taking on this energy of the wands energy, wanting more vigor and passion in your life, and you feel a little stuck. We see that all the way through the cards, that you're just feeling a little stuck. And the way around that is to break free with the Eight of Swords. Walk right through that stuck feeling and take that leap. Now the um, final, final outcome, happiness in reverse. You're not going to be quite happy in the middle of November. You're not going to be getting everything you want or what you're expecting. But it's a temporary energy and you can work through this. And I'm thinking the reason why you're not happy is because you're stuck. So if you want to turn around that happiness, which is possible, you're going to have to walk through these swords <clears throat> that makes you feel restricted. You're going to have to break free. 
So the Nine of Cups in reverse, why are you there for Taurus as the outcome? Queen of Swords, that air energy, that's the why. You're not happy with the Queen of Swords in reverse. Like I said, it could be air energy, someone taking on that air energy. It could be Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. They are in reverse. I call them um, uh, the badass card or a badass type person. But in reverse, they got that resting bitch face look. Okay? And I'm not trying to put them down. It's just the way it is with an air sign, especially, you know, if it's an Aquarius. And I just know one that, that, that has that type of mentality. Can I have another card for the happiness card and the Queen of Swords? You're not happy. You're not happy with the Queen of Swords energy, so you need to change that situation around. Because something is not completed. Is you're not having this happy home, and you got the Devil in reverse, still feeling slightly chained. For Taurus, Taurus is feeling trapped, restricted, stagnant, and all these things Taurus can control because this is something that is in your life. It's not like outside energies are doing this to you all the way. This is part of your mental being of how can I get out of this? I'm feeling trapped. I'm not saying that the situation isn't there that's making you feel this way, but this card allows for an escape. It's up to you, to, up to you whether you take, take this escape. Turn this around. Do what you got to do, and then you can change all this. But that is your reading. Remember, come out of feeling chained and trapped. Turn that Eight of Swords around. And I'll be back in the middle of November and see if this energy has changed or there's a new energy. But this is the one you got to concentrate on. Breaking free with the eight of, eight, eight of Swords and do it as quickly as you can. But like I said, you, you have the ability to change your future, change your path. This is where you change it, right here. It's already occurring, the stuck feeling. And you, we know you want a new beginning. But that is your reading. And like I said, I'll be back and giving you another reading, Taurus. And I'll see you later. Bye.